Hey everybody, today is Saturday Sensation. I am super excited just because that is just who I am. I am G1 Writer with G1 Insights and if this is your first time, then my love, you are in for a treat, okay? Stay tuned for Terror Tuesday, Think It Over Thursday and Saturday Sensations and Prosperity Mondays, okay? So I will also occasionally post our tarot readings occasionally for the month, the week, or whatever my spirit guides me on, okay? So today is one of those topics where you're just carefree, oh well, full of love, full of light, right? We're just going to talk about compatibility, zodiac compatibility, okay? <laughs> this is one of my favorite topics. Because normally when I talk about this, it, it gets heated, it gets funny, it gets loud, and <laughs> not everybody can deal with it, right? So, and if you know me, then you know how real and authentic that I can be, and you know that I always give it to you guys raw, all right? So, let's get started. I wanted to talk about Aries compatibility first, just because it is Aries season, and it wouldn't be right not to talk about Aries. So, Aries, hmm. Whether you are Sun, Moon, or Rising, or even have Venus and Aries, okay, it is important to know first and foremost what is in your birth chart, okay? Because it is so easy to say, okay, I'm an Aries and my man is a Taurus or my man is a Gemini. Um, are we compatible? Like, it's so easy to say that, but in reality, it goes a bit deeper than that. It goes by energy, it goes by um, what they may have in their birth chart as well, can all depend on compatibility, okay? So, it's bigger than just sun, excuse me, ooh, <laughs> I had something to drink. So, it's bigger than um, sun sign compatibility is what I'm saying. Like, so when you're asking, okay, are Aquarius and Sagittarius compatible is bigger than that. Like, I mean, yeah, it's easy on paper. It looks good, right? But it also depends on how you were raised, you know, how old you are. What is your cultural background? It depends on so much more. And so it kind of irks me sometimes when people say certain zodiac signs shouldn't be together or who, what zodiac signs should be together. So I'm going to break that all down as much as I can tonight. And if I can't get through all of it tonight, then what I'll do is complete it on next Saturday, okay? That's what we'll do. I'll promise you that one, all right? So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Aries. Aries on Aries. Aries with Aries is you're looking at a relationship where there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of go-to energy, right? Like a lot of direct energy. Um, Aries on Aries is very steamy, so it can get really, really hot really, really fast. You're talking about a relationship where it can be super delicious or super disgusting, okay? Um, and again, it depends on a number of factors, age, culture, um, you know, the way the person was raised, it can depend on their mental status, things that they've been through. So it's bigger than that, but just to keep it simple, I'll say that normally I do think Aries and Aries can actually work out quite well together. I, I mean, ironically, I think all fire signs can do well with each other because they are all, they, for some reason, it's like they all just naturally understand each other. Like Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, like they do really well together. Um, just because their energy alone is very hot very <laughs> passionate and very strong so aries is have a tendency to be kind of uh self-centered okay and aries even though they can be very loving and very playful they can be very self-centered they can be very um flirtatious so i think depending on what zodiac sign they date depends on if they'll be totally okay with being themselves. Now, dealing with another Aries, they may take it lightly and they may not like it. So if it's like an Aries woman with an Aries man, 
then I think it can work really, really well. Okay, you know, so I think it can work really, really well. Aries with an uh, Aries woman with another Aries woman, that's tricky because it is a lot of boss mentality, a lot of um, not really controlling, just more of like very bossy type of thing. So, um, and if you guys can kind of work and work around it and find other reasons to. Um, be with each other, then I think that it can work. But I think that the I'm the boss mentality kind of, you know, slice and dice everything. Like, it kind of cuts it off. So I think that is when, is again, the sex could be amazing. Conversation could be amazing. Um, finances in their relationship can also be amazing. Aries has a very protective side to them. Um, which means they can also be kind of possessive. So is you know, for a lot of times, I mean, it can actually work out teaming up with another Aries just because they do like to feel protected as protecting the ones that they love. So it actually can work out, you know, despite their differences. And again, this all depends on their, um, on what else is in their birth chart. It just simply depends. And it could be Aries man or Aries woman. It doesn't matter. But if it is woman on top of woman, or a man on top of woman, you can bet to believe that there's a lot of tense, strong emotions to deal with, okay? But when you have a divine masculine or a divine feminine, that is when it'll probably be most balanced. But if you got two masculine energies where both of you are like just raw and strong and hard-headed and <laughs> independent and sexual like it, it can again this is one of those situations where it can be really hot and steamy and beautiful or it can be really really bad so dealing with aries on top of aries that's interesting i think it will probably work best when you have someone who is an aries but then the other person has uh, their rising sign or their moon sign in Aries or maybe even their Venus in Aries, okay? Um, I think it works better that way versus a Aries sun with an Aries sun sign. You get what I'm saying? Like, to me, it just works a lot better um, because it gives opportunity for greater communication, um spiritual communication spiritual aspects like you guys will be able to understand each other a bit more De again depending on where aries is in your birth chart so it can work it's just where the sign is in your birth chart okay so what that mean is what you you in order to understand all of this you will have to be able to look at your birth chart and determine what's where aries is in your birth chart okay and again those are some things that i can actually help you guys with so let's move on aries and taurus aries and taurus is one of the most sexy most beautiful, most compassionate, most understanding relationships I have ever witnessed, okay? Like, they truly, truly just understand each other. Like, they just get it. <laughs> like, they love each other so much. Like, and this can even be even as friends. Like, Taurus and Aries have a, a combination where it just naturally, like, click together. There's no fabrication there's no pretending they don't have to try to be something they're not because they each understand each other and they they actually enjoy you know i feel like aries enjoy the stability and the the assertiveness of taurus and the sexiness as well and Taurus appreciates the fact that Aries is not afraid to have a little bit of fun. So it actually does tend to work out, okay? Um, I think it is one of the most beautiful relationships I have ever seen. Now, I've witnessed um, Taurus woman with Aries man. That is also a very beautiful union because Aries men in particular, they love a woman that can dress well, carry themselves really well, respectful, you know, very gorgeous. They like when, basically they love a very feminine woman, okay? And Taurus women have that sensuality about themselves. Like, they carry themselves a certain way, and they are not the type to 
fuss or put on a big show in public like they're just not those type of people and i think that in aries men they they appreciate the sensuality in taurus women and they also appreciate um the the, the true loyalty and stability that comes from taurus women taurus women can kind of be possessive but it's only out of love you know like they basically possess anything that they love it can be fucking food they will possess they fucking food like that's just who they are but it's all out of love like look i really love this fucking chicken please don't touch my chicken <laughs> or <laughs> or I really love this shirt. Can you really not touch the shirt? Like they can be very possessive over really anything. <laughs> so I don't think there's any harm and I think that Aries man actually loves that. They appreciate the fact that their Taurus woman can be very um not really possessive, but that they care so much and they they want to to keep something that is stable between them that it motivates the Aries man to love them even more I do believe that part okay now Aries and Gemini okay Aries and Gemini is one hell of a combination okay this is one of those relationships where I don't really recommend um just because not that it can't work, but then there's a lot of work that needs to be done when you have an Aries dealing with a Gemini. Aries dealing with a Gemini is fun, exciting, passionate, and free, and sometimes too damn free. And <laughs> when you have a relationship where everything is like, yay, just all fucking day. <laughs> and there's no balance to help balance that relationship out they can cause problems for when things do go wrong you guys won't know how to handle one another because you are so used to just everything being like hi i'm happy come hold me you know gemini's live in a very fantasy world like they live in a very tied up fantasy world and um aries they, they deal more with passion and logic. And so dealing with their logic, they can sometimes clash with Gemini on their views and how emotional they are. They may get really upset and they may feel like Gemini are always too emotional. Um, so even while they may appreciate good sex and they may appreciate having fun with you and loving you, um, Aries with Gemini is one of those things where... Let's have sex, let's have fun, but we should not be married. Or, <laughs> um, because, the, again, the problem comes in when there could be, like, stability issues. Or, um, when it's time to pay a bill. Geminis are not the most stable signs when it comes to, um, finances or emotions. They are not the most stable people. So, in Aries, dealing with a Gemini can be quite challenging for them. Um, this can also be one of, again, this can, I feel like an Aries can also get quite bored after a while with a Gemini too. And it's interesting because Geminis can also be very free spirited, but that's just the problem. They are both free spirited individuals. They are both free spirited people. And not only that, but they both are very flirtatious. They both love to dress. They both love like being in total control. So it's like, yeah, aside from all the beauty, right? Like the passion, the fire within and all the dates and, you know, cruises and things that they may actually enjoy together and all the laughter that they might actually enjoy together. I think Gemini men in particular will get a kick out of Aries women just because they can show them off, right? Like they can show them off and say, hey, this is my lady, you know, and Aries women are naturally very beautiful, right? So Gemini men can definitely feel, um, confidence in the area of showing his woman off now the problem is going to come in where aries woman wants to control the gemini man just by he may say hello to a, a woman down the street and just that quick an aries woman might get upset like who the fuck is that like they it's just certain things they just don't tolerate so <laughs> and again um 
You know, and you and again, it always depends on what's in your birth chart. I mean, you got some Aries women who may have, you know, a rising sign in um let's see, in like cancer, for example, or they may have a rising sign, not cancer, that was a bad example. They may have a rising sign in like Libra, for example. So they may not get jealous like off the chart like right but if they have aries as a sun or like cancer as a rising or capricorn as a rising or um even leo as a rising then yeah that's not gonna work so if you are an aries and you are interested in a libra man or a man a gemini woman interested in a leap uh aries man then by all means please double check your birth chart just to try to figure out you know, what other planets are affecting your personality because the worst thing to do is just totally write that relationship off because you are an Aries and they're a Gemini. Or if you are a Gemini and they're an Aries. So you want to make sure that you double check your birth chart no matter what, okay? So Gemini, I mean, Aries and Cancer, that is another sexy couple. Oh my God. They are so sexy. They probably have like 10 kids together. Like they just, their natural drive to just even be with each other is sexy alone because they are equally both possessive equally both crazy they equally both love to have fun they equally both love to have money so they understand each other a bit more when it comes to their stability and finances and sexual activity they understand each other a lot more the problem will probably come in at where um Cancer tends to get a bit too fucking emotional and the Aries is probably sitting in the corner like what the fuck are you crying for? Like they're probably get upset. Like what the hell are you crying for? Like it's not that serious. You know what I mean? Or it'll probably be the other way around because cancers they are not the even though they can be very sensitive people, they're not most sensitive towards others. So they they do kind of lack empathy towards other people. Um, however, they can be very sensitive within themselves. So it's not, you know, I think that's where the problem we're coming at is having that compassion for each other. So even though they have it for the relationship and they have it for, you know, for when they go out and they spend time together and the sex is amazing, when it comes to being with each other, that is where the problem um, comes in that is because they tend to lack compassion and sensitivity for one another. Um, I think that the Aries, if this is an Aries woman with a cancer man, then um, I would make sure that the cancer man is really, really into me and that he's not just trying to use me just to show me off to people. Um, because again, Aries women can be very beautiful and very straightforward and cancer men can really like that, but I feel like, um, cancer men have a tendency of manipulating people, uh, manipulating women, especially Aries women. So you want to make sure that if you are dating a cancer man, that they are totally like into you and there is nobody else. And I feel like the quicker you let cancer men know that, then they will say, you know what, okay, this woman is serious about me, let me give her my all. But if you are not totally serious with a cancer man, then yeah, it may not totally work. Because he's going to be flirtatious, he's going to keep doing what he wants until you really show him that you're into him. Um, now, the other way around, Aries man with a cancer woman, that can be another beautiful section. The only thing is that... Um, again, there's that control issue where cancer women in particular can be jealous of certain things like they may want to feel like the only woman in the room and Aries men do have a tendency to be very flirtatious. So if they can both be mindful of their flirtatious nature, then I think that it can work and that they can, I think it's a better union when they are both financially set when they are both mentally together, I think it can work. But they, it has to be some individual work done first before they um, even decide to team up, okay? So Aries and Leo. Aries and Leo. This is another situation where it's like extremely hilarious, um, extremely sexy, but extremely hilarious, okay? Because they are constantly watching each other. <laughs> constantly watching each other, constantly being possessive. But I think that they both like the crazy. That's the crazy part. 
they like the crazy in each other. Like, so if the old man was to get super crazy and possessive or controlling over his Aries woman, Aries woman will be kindly confused or she'll act like she's confused, right? But deep inside, Aries women in particular, they look for that father figure. Um, and whether they like to admit it or not, they like that father figure nature. And so when a... <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, yeah. So when a Leo man is showing that possessive side to him and he's being like, where you been at? You know, like they love it. Oh, my God. I have seen some amazing sexy couples go at it. So Leos and Aries, they actually tend to work really, really well together. But I think that it works better when the Leo man is older and the Aries woman is a little younger. But for some reason, when it's an Aries older woman with a younger Leo man, then the manipulation flips because now she already thinks she's the boss naturally, right? So dealing with the Leo younger man is like, okay, you're mine. You do what I say. Where you been? Where you going? Come back over here. And so the Leo man is like, he likes to be loved, but he does not like to be controlled. So that is where that problem is going to come in at, where if it is an older woman with a, um, Leo woman, excuse me, if it is an older, um, sorry, let me back up. If it is an older Aries woman with a younger Leo man, then as long as she tried to monitor her bossy mentality, then it can work, okay? It can be really, really successful. But she has to be mindful that she is not too controlling because Leos in particular do not to be, like to be restricted or told what to do. So dealing with an Aries or older Aries woman can be very challenging. Now, if it is in Leo older man with a younger Aries woman, then it can work because Aries women like that father figure mentality. And so they don't mind being submissive. And they might be like, okay, all right, you don't have to yell, you know, like they'll do that versus the Aries older woman thinking that she can do that to the younger Leo man. I'm telling you now, he will cheat on you, okay? So if you are an older Aries woman dealing with a younger Leo man, the best that you can do is allow him as much as freedom as possible because if you don't, he will cheat on you and he will consistently disrespect you and lie to you and do what he wants because they do not like to be restricted. And the moment that they feel like you got a hold on them, they will try their best to break free. So Aries and Virgo, this is another passionate, beautiful sign um, relationship. I love the Virgo and Aries relationship because they are so well together. Like, they work so well together. It is a natural submission when you see Aries and Virgo together. They are respectful. They're like, yes, babe, I got you. You know, it's very pleasant. It kind of reminds me of Aries and Taurus. Like, it's very, very pleasant and very sensual. There's, you know, their dynamic alone, like how they even treat each other is beautiful. Like, they really, truly honor each other. You know, like there's no disrespect in the midst. You know what I mean? Like they may have occasional disagreements or arguments, whatever, but what couple doesn't, right? Um, but Aries and Virgos is very beautiful to me. I love the fact that Virgo would do anything for the Aries man. And I think Virgo women in general just appreciate the sensitivity in their Aries man. And Aries men appreciate the stability and loyalty from their Virgo woman, right? But what happens when there's a Virgo man with an Aries woman? Uh, okay, that is one relationship where, you know, I mean... I think it still can work, but Virgo men, they, they want their woman a certain way. And Aries women sometimes can be a bit too flirtatious. Um, and they can be very too loud for the Virgo's taste. Like Virgo men want their women to be a certain way. Like they want you to be very modest and to carry yourself a certain way. And Aries women can be, be very like just all over the place. Like even so sexually, you can win a Virgo man over, okay? But when it comes to money and when it comes to stability and doing the right things and behaving properly, yes, Virgo men can be very critical of their women. So it is very important that you 
check yourself <laughs> before you decide to date a Virgo man because they will tell you about yourself. They will let you know that you are turning them off. They will let you know. Okay, so get your shit together before you decide to date a Virgo man because they will most certainly put you in your place. And again, when it's a Virgo woman, it's a different story because they, the, Virgos in general love to help people, okay? So they, they have this thing about them like if they can't fucking fix you, they don't want you, okay? So... And, and I, I mean that in the most loving way. Like, if they can't fully be there for you and support you and fix you, they, they really rather not even deal with it, okay? So, if you are an Aries woman or man, you know, it doesn't even matter. I just need you to understand. Now, I do know Virgo man with Virgo man can also be tricky, okay? Um, because, again, you had that... that um, I mean, in a way, financially, it can be really good. Intellectually, it can be really good. Sexually, it might be really good. Okay, but it could also be very boring when it's a Virgo and Virgo. It could be very boring. Um, okay, so, again, we're talking about Aries. But Aries and Virgos got my thumbs up because it is another beautiful, sensual relationship that I do love and respect from a distance. Ooh, yes, universe, let that money come in. You heard that bang, you were like, ching, ching. <laughs> Ah, yes. Okay, so that's my money piling up. I ain't worried about it. Right? So, um, okay. So, Aries and Libra. Oh, intellectual relationship. I love Aries and Libra together. They are opposites. They are opposites of the zodiac sign. So, everything that Libra lacks, Aries finds. And whatever Aries lacks, the Libra has, right? So, and I'm going to tell you what that is. Okay, so with Aries, they need balance, right? They need balance because sometimes they're all over the place. They're, they're rushing, they're thinking too much, they, they, they got everything going on and they're not properly processing everything, right? And that is why I love about Air, um, Libra because they can come along and show you everything, like on top of everything, right? And then, however, when it comes to Aries women with a Libra man, Again, we have that foundation where Libra men may occasionally feel like they can't really trust that Le that Aries woman. Um, not because she's a bad woman or because she wasn't raised, right? But it's because she just be doing too much. And sometimes their fire is just too much fucking fire. And Libra men, again, they love their women a certain way, just like Virgos. They love their women a certain way. They want you to be classy and beautiful and sexy and freaky but quiet and, you know, but then have fun, and, you know, when we want you to have fun. Like, have fun with family. Have fun with your friends, you know. And we, they don't mind you doing any of that. But respect is respect. And you partying every day, Aries, just won't cut it. Libra would never stand for that. Um, they will never understand how, why would you want to be out every single day when you got all this? Like, they will never understand that. Um, they will never understand the fact that you want to spend all your money and they're trying to save up for a house. They will never understand it. So when it comes to certain aspects, it's not that they can't work. It's just that if they can learn to deal with the flaws of one another and try to help each other build through those flaws, then yeah, I think it can be very beautiful, very passionate, very sexy. But you have to expect occasional um, arguments or frustrations between the both. But usually, even as friendships... I think Aries and Libras get along rather well. Just like Capricorns and Cancers, it's the same thing. Like, they can get along really rather well. But it is always some type of competition in between. And the same thing is with Leo, I mean, with Aries, I keep saying Leo. With Aries and Libra, there's, it can be a very beautiful union. But it's either jealousy or some type of competition between them that can kind of...